Yo, so you need to do some texture work for your wad. Well, the first thing to do is cry because this sucks. Now, next thing to do, so you need to understand the difference between a, a patch and a texture. So first of all, anything that's graphic doom here, this is, um, this is considered a patch. And these are all things that uh, you'll, you'll, you can use for like, uh, you can use to make up textures, but you can also use them for sprites and for menu uh, items. You can even the like the graphic that says Doom 2 when you uh, hit escape, the background, the intermission screens, all of that stuff is uh, graphic Doom. And uh, another thing, so of course graphic Doom also makes up textures, the, te the kind of textures that you put on walls. Um, so the so everything I'm saying uh, for now is going to be just for textures that you put on walls. So uh, let's say you want first of all you wanted to like import uh, textures from another wad. Well, in your wad, you need to make sure that they are between these two markers. I'll show you what they are. Uh, you need to do new new entry. So uh, p underscore end um, right. So I would have these surrounding the the texture the patches that you use for textures here. So now that you've got that taken care of, um, now you need to make uh, actual textures. So you go to archive and go to texture editor. Uh, actually, before I mention that, see this thing right here, this uh, like Doom 2, you're gonna click this gear and go find, go hit add archive and go find your Doom 2 wad. You're gonna click on that and um, use Doom 2 as your base resource. So you're gonna, cause it's gonna use your base resource to create your texture X. Uh, it says no texture definition, whatever, just hit yes. Uh, and import from base uh, resource archive here. Now you'll have this table, this texture X, with all of the Doom 2 um, textures here. And uh, to really drive the point home, uh, where was the one that I want to use? Oh yeah, so here, check this out. Um, so we've got this uh, star gray, right? This is like star tan, but star gray. <laughs> uh, no. So it's made of four different patches here. And so that's the way it works. These patches are the ones that you would find. Um, since it's Doom 2, you're not going to find them in your wad right now. But you would find these in the main like Slade folder right here. And these are the ones that make up textures. And so for this, right, you would maybe make, you would change the size. So you could, for example, make the size 256. Now you've got all of this and you can maybe have this all repeating or you could throw, uh, you could throw more patches in here. You could do some like crazy stuff like this and you could just turn it into blood falls like to the side and then all of this can be a texture. Um, and that's pretty much how the texture editor works. Uh, there's a lot more to it, but these are pretty much the basics to really get you started here. Yeah, so um, after that, so you need a, a Texture X. Um, I'm going to be referring to it as Texture X because that's what I called it the first time and I stuck with it. Uh, but yeah, so now, so now you've got your textures that go on walls. That kind of works. Now you're going to take textures that you put in like um, from probably Otex or uh, your favorite Ribix wad. So let's say I go to Otex and I want to add something. Um, I'm going to grab, I don't know why it's texture two in here, maybe so it can have like multiple in the same resource, but either way, I would make just one resource with one texture X to make it simple for yourself. But yeah, so check this out, right? It's made up of all these patches, okay, Q here. So if you want this like arrow, these arrows in your wad, uh, you would have to go find OKQ, OK right? And you would copy that and paste it into your textures, your texture wad. Um, go back to the texture editor. So I don't think I got the right one for this, but uh, there. So there it is, and it's made of the same patch that I brought. So I would take, so you take the, um, texture here from this texture X, put it in your texture X. And what will happen uh, is nothing. 
Let me get it again. Copy, paste it in here. Um, and yeah, so now that this is in here, uh, the way it just, it knows what patches it needs to use. And it, as long as it can find these names, like in your main folder, it'll go ahead and, and uh, put them all together. And you can just go ahead and put this on the walls because this OWRNGC, this is what you're gonna see uh, when you're scrolling to, through textures in Doom Builder to put on your walls. Uh, it's gonna be named this, not this, uh, not these patches. But yeah, so that's a start. Um, another thing is uh, when you have textures of your own of your own here, let's say uh, you don't need a patch, right? It's just these textures you imported and you're gonna put this straight on a wall. Um, then you would, for example, like click on all of these, uh, maybe if you wanted to, uh, then you would right click, go down to graphics and hit add to texture X. Uh, make sure that your texture X is closed so that doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, but yeah, and so now, sure enough, you should find it in your uh, texture X. I'm gonna go F field, and there it is. So you can go ahead and uh, put them down on your walls. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right. Okay, so next up, uh, next thing I wanna show you is um, animated textures. So animated textures are fun, they look awesome. So go to archive, new, new animated so for animated um you will you'll have like these defaults uh it probably uses the resource archive the same way um i don't want to change otex but yeah so it'll probably just use the uh, resource uh, the base resource here to get all of the like regular doom 2 animated textures uh, if you want to add your own click here on the zero and add a row and then so for type here uh, for me, I'm going to do textures, so I'm going to do this, this field orange again. So texture, and uh, it wants the last one in the series, so uh, last one is F field 09. And then first one is F field 01. And then the speed, uh, for these, I think it's typically 2. Um, you can change the, the speed depending on uh, how it looks in the game, I guess. Or you could just like copy what other people have done. <laughs> it's typically what just typically what you're gonna do with a lot of the stuff is you're just gonna find the texture X from the wad that you like and just copy paste the thing that you need from it. And uh, with that, I'd like to also mention that like make sure you uh, Otex and CC4 are like the ones that like you could just anybody can use. But if you have some texture that's unique to a wad you've never seen before, you gotta take a look at the text file of the wad. Make sure that you're allowed to use it so you don't get so you don't get in trouble. Um, but yeah, so as long as your animated looks like this, you should be good. And if you put just like so, you'll find F field P1 since you put that in your texture X. You can go ahead and texture walls with this in UDB. In Ultimate Doom Builder, and um, as long once you put the first, well, I guess I did orange. Once you put the first uh, animation in the series, um, you'll see it animate when you find when you actually load up the wad. All right, next up, switches. So new switches uh, for boom switches. Um, this, oh man, <laughs> this is funny because in um, in Spectrum of the Balls of Steel. I did something, I made a mistake, and I'm not gonna repeat it here because I think I'll have to like close slate and reopen it before, so I can actually do it, but, so look, if you're gonna add a texture, or if, if you're gonna add like an animation for a switch, right, so this is, this determines, when you press a switch, right, and you see uh, like the little lever go down and the green light turn to the red light, uh, that's what this is gonna basically do, so, you gotta make sure that you click on zero before you do this. Like if you click on anything else and try to add the row, it'll turn into an unknown, it'll stop working and you'll be like David with Spectrum. So click on the zero, hit the plus and make sure that it's adding on the top. If it's not, I don't know, close slate and open it again or something, but make sure it's adding up top. You need to add it in the zero slot there. So the off texture, right? So let's say we use this uh, E wall here, e W A L. 001A wall 002B and the type uh, you would put commercial for yours and 
that should work and when you click off it make absolutely sure it did not turn into an unknown type if it did start over and try it again it shouldn't have if you it shouldn't have if you put it in the zero um, position but yeah so it says boom switches and it should be good when you press on um, a switch as long as it has an action it'll animate from this to this <laughs> and yeah so you get to like choose one of these it's a, one of the it's a pretty good switch texture there yeah, so you're done with that. Now, uh, these are all the textures that you put on walls. There are also textures that we put on floors, of course. So we need to add a new entry called FF underscore start. Uh, These are for flats. And uh, you also need FF underscore end. All right, and this is, this is awesome. You're gonna love this. So what you do, to get flats in your wad, right? You saw how much work it took to get like textures. Okay, wait, I'm clicking on the wrong thing. You saw how much work it took to get textures. Well, to get a flat, what you do is you take this flat and you put it in your wad and you're done. It's awesome. And the animations work the same way that it did before. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, and another thing I'd like to mention, by the way, so any of these, uh, <laughs> you, if you've seen in uh, Legion of the Balls of Steel, do I, have, do I still have this texture? Yeah, I do. So we saw in Legion of the Balls of Steel right after Dimensions, I warned you. Um, for all these mid textures, uh, as you can see, right, this kind of background is kind of indicating that this is a transparent texture. And what that means is if you just take this and you texture a wall with that, like an upper or lower texture, or just like a mid middle texture that's like on a wall, um, it's going to loop over and over and it's gonna look absolutely ridiculous in software. Like they'll like the words will overlap each other, but in OpenGL, it'll look fine. So keep that in mind whenever you use any of these, any texture that's transparent like that. Um, that it'll probably be messed up in software. So to combat that, uh, in in the Legion of the Balls of Steel, you'll see that it, this is actually written on a mid texture. So I guess I can take a moment. Oh no, I'm spoiling my I'm spoiling my new map. <laughs> oh, I don't really care though. All right, but Legion of the Balls of Steel. So let me come here. I just wanted I just wanted to show this off real quick. This is, this is the line that has the dimensions uh, message. So what you would do is you would draw the line, right click it and um, click on middle and you're gonna go ahead and put it because what middle does like that is it gives you, it gives you one loop vertically, but horizontally it will still, it'll still be like this, see? Like it wants to say return there, um, but vertically it won't. So if I try to take this and I paste it on the wall, uh, it's gonna do that and then it'll look ridiculous in the map. See how it looks uh, in software? And then if you switch to OpenGL, it looks kind of different, it should I think. Yeah, see it, it changed it up in, in OpenGL. So yeah, just uh, try to avoid that by using a mid texture. Also, another thing is make sure that the line is facing the right way. So the line is gonna be facing forward, uh, you know, facing towards you. So um, like front is where this little notch is facing. So front will, front is the side you should be texturing on. So anyway, that's a, that's a start. Hopefully that helps you with uh, some texture things. Um, make sure that if you are using a color palette that you like the textures with your color palette and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, till next time, peace.